everybody, it's Monica with your best female figure, and today I'm back with the top three exercises according to researchers for glute activation. So these are the three exercises that will target your glute muscles the best. And as you can see, I do them on a regular basis. Otherwise, I would not have the confidence to perform burlesque on a stage at the age of 45. These three exercises also happen to be some of the best core moves from Corset Core Hourglass Waist and your best female figure plans as well as Bodycon Fitness Plan. Anyways, let's get started with the first exercise, which is just a basic plank hip extension. So you come down into a plank, make sure that you know your deep abdominals are engaged, and you just lift your back leg by squeezing the butt as hard as possible. Now, if you've been doing this move for you know a long time, you've been working out for a long time, you're probably not gonna feel anything from that exercise anymore, which is why I I add the knee in. Um, the knee in actually gets a nice stretch in the glute so that you can get a much, you know, harder glute contraction. And then if you, you know, transition it into this deep lunge, single leg down dog, <laughs> butt squeeze, um, the move becomes even more challenging because now you're engaging, you know, your entire upper body, your back, your shoulders, your arms, um, and you're also, you know, training endurance and a little bit of fat loss. If you want to see even more ways to do these movement patterns, be sure to head over to your best female figure blog and check out the last two blog posts I put up. One is on the best butt exercises, which includes all these moves and other variations that are even more fun and more complex. Um, and the other one is on the best squat trick for getting your best booty. You're really going to enjoy that article because um, of the research and what it found that squats are not that effective for getting a good butt. All right, so now we're on to the second move that was found to be the best for glute activation, and that is a bent leg hip extension. Now, in the research study, the researchers called this a butt squeeze, which I thought was hilarious because that is not a very scientific name for, uh, you know, a hip extension. So you can actually do this from a kneeling position, you can do it from a standing position, and you can also do it laying on your back, which I'm going to show all three versions. If you are not a total beginner who has never exercised a day in your life, meaning you've been working out, you know, consistently for a while now, you have some workout and fitness background experience, or, you know, even just a few months, you need to use a weight for this exercise. Otherwise, it's not going to be that effective because your body's, you know, gotten conditioned to just doing the body weight version of it. Um, if you want even better results, then I recommend that you choose the standing version because then both, you know, glute muscles on each side are working just as hard while you're doing the exercise. So the supporting leg glute muscle has to work to stabilize um, and then, you know, the working leg is also working to push that heel up towards the ceiling. And notice how I'm keeping my leg bent. That's really important with this exercise. You have to keep your leg bent. Um, if you need to turn around and look to see that, to make sure that that's happening. Because when I um, have my clients do this exercise, they start to straighten the leg out and then that just basically becomes the first exercise that I was showing in the video. It's no longer, you know, this version of a hip extension. So make sure that you're keeping that leg bent and also engage your core, which is going to help you to, you know, stay balanced. Right now, if you're going to do the laying down version of this, you can do it on the floor, which is basically a bridge. Um, and there are many ways that you can do a bridge. You can put your feet on a chair. You can put your feet on suspension trainer straps. Um, I prefer to do it with my upper body on a stability ball and a bunch of sand bells stacked on my hips. Um, this is probably the best version of that exercise. Um, if you don't have sand bells, you can use dumbbells. Just make sure you put a towel over your hips so you know they don't like dig into your hips. Um, and hang on to them uh, because they can fall off. Um, and if you want to get adventurous, you can do the single leg version. And if you train in a gym, you can go grab yourself a 45 pound bar and do them with a 45 pound bar, which I am very curious to try 
that version of it. Right now, if I am doing this exercise with both feet on the floor, I can do up to 40 pounds of weight stacked on my hips. And if I'm doing the single leg version, like the one that you're seeing here, then I can do about 30 pounds. And that is incredibly difficult, as you can see, to stay balanced um, as well as to actually lift. Um, that is very challenging for your glutes, but I am definitely trying to work up to 45 pounds of weight. Right now, the top three exercise that was found to be most effective for activating your glute muscle is the side plank. You can do it from your forearm if you know your forearms can handle it. Mine cannot, so I like doing the version that we do in yoga just from the hand and then I like to add some leg movement to it whether it's just a bent leg hold you know or a leg lift that really challenges both your core and your glute muscle to stabilize and if you're doing this exercise correctly you will feel it on your glute muscle as you're doing it as well as afterwards uh, now like I said I posted many other ways to do this on that blog post um, these are not the hardest um, but if you're a beginner to intermediate they're probably the best way to get started with this exercise my personal favorite is actually combining all three of the exercises in this video into one movement um, that is really going to challenge both your glutes and your core if you want to you can pick one version of each of these three movement patterns and do it as a circuit I did that the other day three rounds before that I had done some dancing for 40 minutes and then afterwards I stretched for 40 minutes and it was an amazing workout but you can you know also just incorporate these exercises into your existing circuits anyways I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it has been helpful I will be back soon with more exercises and tips to help you get your best female figure thank you so much for watching